What difference would it make for Ukraine to be able to strike deep into Russia's territory? Allegedly, unnamed U.S. administration officials stated that Russian forces have moved 90% of the aircraft that conduct glide bomb strikes from Russian airspace away from the airfields within the range of Storm Shadow and Atacom's missiles. Now, look at this interactive map. The Institute for the Study of War says that there are 16 air bases located in the range of Ukrainian Atacom's in Russia. And although the think tank does confirm the redeployment of Russian aircrafts, it insists it does not reduce the importance of allowing Ukraine to use Atacom's against hundreds of other Russian military objects, nor does the reportedly small number of Atacoms the U.S. has provided. Ukrainian forces are using homemade long-range strike systems to hit some of the objects beyond the HIMARS range. And although they are effective, they do have some vulnerabilities, experts say. These weapon systems, as we have seen, they, they have very long ranges, up to 2,000 kilometers. So Ukraine was able to reach targets really, really far behind the front line. Uh, there are two, two major issues with these types of weapon systems. Um, that's that they are rather slow, which means they are quite vulnerable. Once they are detected, it's quite easy uh, to, to bring weapon systems in place to shoot them down. And then also they have a very limited payload capacity, um, which means that their destructive power compared to, let's say, a Storm Shadow or Scalp EG cruise missile is very, very limited. They're just not as lethal as the weapon systems are that Western states could provide and have provided Ukraine, but then, of course, only allow for them to be used inside Ukraine. Any assessment that rejects allowing Ukraine to strike legitimate military objects in Russia on the exclusive basis of air asset redeployment is incomplete because it fails to account for the hundreds of other objects supporting Russia's war against Ukraine and would thus be incorrect.